So this is going to be a more specific tour of the electronics lab in the basement of the ODK. So if you enter the electronics lab, which has specific responsibility and the rules associated with it, so be sure to be familiar with that before you use it. Um, starting off, there's a wall of wires on this side of different gauge sizes. There's going to be like wire cutters on their side so you can easily uh, cut off the amount of wire that you need. There are wire strippers, crimpers, pliers, etc. miscellaneous components. And this is going to be particularly useful for things such as your DC motor project. If you look in here, there's things like magnet wire that people have left behind that you'll probably need for your DC motor, some copper tape that might be useful for your commutator of your DC motor, and other like miscellaneous components that might be helpful in your projects in the future. And throughout the uh, electronics lab, there are soldering tables. And these are the three soldering stations out uh, on this side of the room. And in these tables, there are going to be soldering resources like on the top shelf and uh, throughout the table uh, that includes like the basic materials that you need to solder. So that's the soldering iron, your solder, some like vices so that you can clamp things down, uh, some other soldering accessories, some like the raw materials that you need, like the solder, the wick, the flux. Uh, that you'll need to be able to do your stuff. So the basic idea behind soldering is just basically you need to adhere uh, some sort of thing to another thing and you're using metal and you're melting metal and then you're solidifying that metal to do that. And so in essence, you're just heating up this iron, you're melting this metal, which is the solder, then you're using that to glue something down with metal. And there are other also very useful resources around these uh, tables, such as the quick guide on how to solder, just in case you don't really know how to solder, if this is your first time, and that's okay. Um, and also things such as digital multimeters, which will be a, a very useful tool in determining whether or not you have a successful solder or like your electronic components are working properly. So if you just kind of go further down, like along these top shelves, there are other things that you might need, electrical tape, some like uh, banana clips, alligator clips, like the IDK WTF bin, you might find something useful for your specific project in there, some cables. Uh, and on this specific wall over here are electronic components. So this will be particularly useful in your inverted pendulum and your final projects if it has a very strong electronic component. Uh, in case you can't find those resources in the 343 lab in MEB, there are capacitors and resistors and LEDs and power switches and different types of wires and connectors that you might need for your electronics. And it's, become, it's a very useful resource in case that, uh, you know, like some people like to hog specific capacitors or wires and so like you won't be able to get those resources, just come to the OADK and they have a lot of them. And then if you look over here, this is the secret checkout closet. So you need a lab technician to get into this closet and get resources. So this is more specialized equipment such as data acquisition software and hardware. Uh, so like uh, more CDs for uh, like microcontroller like set up on your computer or like NIDAC uh, acquisition software. So like specific modules that might be more too expensive for the ODK to just hand out to kids uh, uh, as a huge liability issue and things like that. So just be, uh, be aware that you need the lab technician to get in here and it's a checkout system. So they need to be returned afterwards. And there's some other resources just as this cutting board, use at your own risk. It's uh, pretty heavy duty, it's cut like metal springs before. Uh, I guess you can use it to cut paper, whatever you need to cut there, it's just like a boop, and it cuts your stuff. And this cabinet has some other like miscellaneous resources that might you might need for your project, such as like breadboards, PCB mill tips, soldering iron tips that you might need to replace on the soldering stations and etc. So yeah, that is a specific tour of the electronics lab.